I can't tell you how much I wish I had had this book when I first started knitting socks. This is the Sock Knitting Bible. It is by Lynn Rowe and the nice folks at David and Charles Publishing sent me a review copy so I could do a video for you. And if you are into knitting socks, this contains so much information. It has got toe up socks, cuff down socks, different hem. Yeah, hem is the word I want, different toes. It explains how to measure your foot, how to figure out what size sock you need, what the different elements of the socks are. It is a great resource of information. It's got pretty pictures. It has got 10 different sock patterns. One of the suggestions for how to swatch, well, it's definitely not how I did it, do it, and I've never seen it done that way. Maybe I've been wrong for 15 years. I know I'm not going to do it that way. It does have sock recipes for, like I said, cuff down and toe up. It's fabulous. It teaches you different cast-ons, magic loop, socks on two needles, and seamed. I believe I saw in here how to knit two socks on one long circular. I'm guessing, aren't I? There are just so many different strengths. Socks on double pointed needles, on a short circular needle, on a long circular needle for magic loop, on flexible short needles. I don't even know what those are. Two at a time magic loop knitting. So this, nothing out there could possibly have all of the sock knitting techniques that anybody ever invented. There are so many heels and toes and different ways of doing things, but this is the best resource I have come across so far. It's got photographs. It's got great line drawings of the different techniques. It's got the increases. It's got the decreases. It's got how to add beads, pick up stitches, do cables, short rows, work with more than one yarn or color. Got a couple of different binding off techniques. It's a great book. There are 10 different patterns and I have a gazillion sock knitting books on my sewing room bookshelf. So these are not shockingly different than the patterns in the other books I already own. As a starting point, if you don't have another sock book, it's going to give you a lot of variety. The only thing I don't care for about this book is the author's writing style just... It's not a conversational book I could get lost reading just to hear the author's voice. The information is fantastic and when in the sock knitting recipes where she is telling you what to do she tells you what you're doing and why you are doing it. She gives you little tips on what will be happening if the center of the row is moving. So many of the sock book patterns I have, it's just blindly trust the pattern and it will all work out in the end. This book seems to give you a little more guidance on why you're doing what you're doing and what you're doing when you're doing it. It also has really small print. I had to take off my glasses and squint. So if that is a problem for you, good lighting, magnification, something, I will squint to be able to read this book. This is right up my alley. And like I said, I wish that I had had it when I first started sock knitting because I was getting bombarded by information and I was on lists and in forums and so I got a lot of disjointed information that was very helpful but I didn't know what to do with it. This puts it all in context so you would know what to do with it. Definitely recommend this one for new sock knitters or experienced sock knitters who want everything all in one place. Thanks again to the publisher for sending me a copy. I am keeping this forever and ever and keeping it where I can find it because I'm going to re be referencing some of these cast-ons and different techniques. Thanks for watching. I'm Michelle. This is my Romantic Tangle. I'll be back with you with more videos soon.